Hey guys, this is The War Against Narcissism. My name is Kevin, and today I want to talk to you about a question that came up uh, in a conversation I was having with someone yesterday. Um, and the question is, does the narcissist miss you? Now, you may be wondering uh, if you were in a relationship with a narcissist and the narcissist, you know, the narcissist ended the relationship by discarding you, or you couldn't take any more and you discarded them, you broke up with them, which in that case, congratulations, <laughs> you you have done what so many, uh, so many codependents or self-love deficient people uh, simply cannot do or can't bring themselves to do. Uh, so congratulations again. But if you were in a relationship with a narcissist and the relationship is over, um, you may be wondering, does that does that narcissist miss you? Does that person miss you? And you may be wondering that for many different reasons. Now, um, the first reason might be because you miss them, which is fair enough. You know, if you were in a relationship with someone and you grew to be attached to them, to love them, uh, you you may miss them. Uh, if you um, you know, if you're still in contact with the narcissist, if the narcissist is still contacting you, or if you are still actually having conversations with that person, uh, texting, calling, but you know, so forth. Um, you may be wondering if that person is doing that, staying in contact with you, even though they have discarded you or you've broken up with them. Um, if they're doing that because they miss you, or, uh, if you're going through the, uh, the great smear campaign, uh, you may be wondering, is the narcissist doing that because they miss me? Are they angry because they miss me and they're spreading lies about me because they are hurt because they miss me? Right. Um, so allow me to answer that question. When, when it comes to does the narcissist miss me, the complicated answer would be yes and no. But the simple answer would be no, <laughs> not at all. And allow me to explain. So when it comes to relationships with narcissists, narcissists don't view relationship the same way that we normal or healthy people or non-narcissistic people view relationships. They don't view it as an opportunity to bond, to get to know you, to grow together as people. Um, narcissists view, you know, relationship as transactional, right? Is what is the smallest amount that I can give you as far as energy or attention or anything in order to get the most out of you, right? So I say that to say narcissists view relationship as... Um, what they can get out of you, how they can take advantage of you, uh, how they can use you. And because they view relationships only as how they can use you, your individuality, your personality, your personality, sorry, your hopes, your dreams, your aspirations never came into um, the equation as to how valuable you are to them, right? Uh, so the narcissist, because they don't value who you are as a person, never got to know you as a person. The truth is, to the narcissist, you are a mystery. You don't, uh, uh, you know, the true you, I mean, is a mystery, right? The narcissist has a preconceived idea of who you are. And not only that, they believe that you, you know, they have this idealistic, you know, uh, or perfect image of who you are. And once you fall short of that image, you now become worthless, which is really why the relationship with a narcissist or a relationship with a narcissist cannot work is because they expect perfection out of you and perfection doesn't exist, right? So when you fall short of that, which, you know, we all do, you know, you, you, you are then seen as worthless instead of being seen as human, which we all are, right? We are all flawed. Uh, the narcissist starts to view you as worthless, right? But I say that to say, that when it comes to relationships with narcissists, they they cannot miss you because they never got to know you. They never truly got to know you. They never cared to know you. And the truth is, you never knew them either. And for for the people that you know stuck around for this card and the grand finale, you know the uh, the you know the, the the abuse at the end of a relationship that you may encounter with a narcissist, you will ask yourself that question as well. You will wonder. Who is this person? Who who did I fall in love with? This person is not nothing like I imagined them to be. They're downright evil. What what is going on? What is happening, right? So the truth is you don't know the narcissist and the narcissist does not know you. And since they don't know you, they don't they don't miss you. What they do miss is what you provided for them, what you did for them, you know, uh, uh, how they were able to use you to take advantage of you, to deplete you. That is what they miss. You know, the, the, uh, uh, um, 
your your purpose in a, in a relationship is to sustain them it is not to uh you know to again to help them grow to to bond with them narcissists don't bond with people uh and this is also the reason why it's so easy for them to replace you with someone else very quickly because that other person doesn't matter either it, you know who that person is at, at you know on the inside that 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 person's individuality doesn't matter either the only thing that matters to a narcissist is how they can use you i need you for a purpose can you fulfill that purpose yes you have a place in my life if you cannot fulfill that purpose you don't exist to me right i will discard you as if you never existed which is how they view relationships unfortunately right i mean it's unfortunate for you know for for you if you've been in a relationship with a narcissist but it's also unfortunate for them because they will never truly bond with people they have these terrible trust issues because they they know who they are as a person when they don't get their ways they know how you know how easily they can betray someone and they believe everyone else to to be exactly like them, right? So it's very hard for them or it's impossible for them to trust people and believe that people have the, the best intentions for them, you know, at all times uh, because they don't have the best intentions for people, people at all times. The second that you don't serve them, you are now worthless to them and, you know, you're, you're worthy of all types of abuse to them. So uh, uh, forget this idea of, does the narcissist miss me? Uh, the narcissist doesn't even know you to miss you. Now, Another an, another important point I think uh, with this uh, uh, this question is um, look at it this way right if you were to ask the narcissist uh, what do they love or miss about you you know a normal person will will say well I love you know I love you because you're smart I miss you because you know you're such a wonderful person you're so kind uh, you know they're gonna start to describe you as a person and what they miss you what they miss in you, right? But if you were to ask that question to a narcissist, what you're going to get is usually, uh, I miss, I miss how you made me feel. I miss, uh, I miss how we, you know, uh, how we vibe together or, uh, uh, I miss, um, you know, I miss that I could, you know, I miss that I could tell you everything, you know, or that I could, you know, uh, I miss that I could be my true self with you. Right. Uh, you know, it's, it really pinpoints to the, self-involvement self-absorption uh you know the um the absolute complete lack of ability to view people as people or to view people as important and the absolute self-involvement that they have self-important self-importantness if that's a word <laughs> that they have uh they're not they're not thinking about you you don't fit into the the equation as to what they what they love about you, what they miss about you, what they miss about you is what you did for them, what you provided for them, whether it be sex, money, attention, status, affection, uh, whatever it might have been. Uh, that's what they miss. They don't miss you because they don't know you. All right. So hopefully it helps shed some light on that issue. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it in the comment section below. Please like, follow, subscribe and share with your friends and community in order to raise narcissistic abuse awareness. Uh, this is the war against narcissism, guys. Salute.